It is 6 16 a.m. I feel like white jeans are like really in this summer, but the guy behind me decided to accelerate, so I got rear ended. It kind of hit me how much I love this job. I talked about these jeans recently. Good morning, you guys. Welcome back to another video. This video is going to be a full work week in my life. I'm kind of excited about it because this week I have one day off on Wednesday. So we're gonna get a little bit of everything, the work vibes, my day off vibes, and I'm really excited. So for those of you who might be new here, I work as a medical assistant at an OBGYN office. I'm in my gap year currently before hopefully going to PA school. That's something that I've been working on are my applications. So yeah, I just graduated in May. April whatever from Michigan State so that's the deal and this week is going to be so hectic and crazy because our office is implementing a new like computer software for those of you who work in the medical field you know how important the computer is like that's where you do all your documenting like literally everything and now we have a completely new system that none of us have ever used before so it's gonna be like stressful for sure but I'm kind of like excited it's just gonna be a problem Process. and like we're all in it together and we're gonna have like a lot of help at the office too like a lot of extras who specialize in this little software are gonna come in so yeah but I'm definitely like prepared for long days I don't really know what to expect in terms of like what time I'm gonna get out today yeah but I hope you guys enjoy this video if you guys do be sure you guys give it a thumbs up it's like 7 11 and I'm gonna head out I'm scheduled for 7 30 even though my doctor I don't think starts till 8 today I think they want us there a little early just so we can get acclimated to even like logging in on this system so I'm gonna head out and I will probably just talk to you guys when I get home because I doubt I'll even really get a lunch today hi guys it is much later I don't even know what I look like I can't see the screen right now I know I look so rough because I took an hour and a half nap <laughs> today was so so like mentally exhausting like I explained to you guys we this was like our first day on this new computer system and it's like everything went fine like I was actually with the most chill doctor today in terms of like his schedule it wasn't like that but it's just very overwhelming having so many people and like everybody doesn't know what they're doing so like it's not like you can like have that one solid person to go to to ask questions and also like people are stressed so like asking questions stresses them out and it just was like very exhausting but yeah and I guess I'm like just very concerned because tomorrow I'm with a much busier doctor and I'm just like nervous so I was just like mentally drained so I came home had like a protein bar took a nap and it is now like 6 50 <laughs> and I'm going to do a peloton ride a 30 minute peloton ride it's like a rainy day today too so all I wanted to do is just stay on the couch but I think that this will make me feel a little bit better, but yeah, I'm just like feeling exhausted. And tomorrow I have to be there at 6.30, so I'll be getting up bright and early. And I just, but to be fair, Wednesday I have the day off, so I don't know. I think it's gonna be okay. I'm just like getting in my head about it. But yeah, so we're gonna do a quick little workout and then hopefully have some dinner of some sort. Today's not really gonna include much as you can probably tell at this point. Good morning guys. It is 6 16 a.m. on a Tuesday. I am so tired. I had to wake up at 5 30 today because I have to be in the office at 6 30. I feel like I didn't sleep very well last night because I was thinking about how today was gonna go. Um so I'm kind of nervous but I'm also just like it is what it is like nobody can blame me if I'm a little not on my game today because I don't know what I'm doing but yeah I'm just tired and cold and it's like a rainy day again this um, work day I'm literally not even sure how long it's gonna go I would assume I'll be home by 4 so it's gonna be a long day but yeah I just wanted to say good morning yesterday I really didn't do much after working out it was a good workout but I didn't do much at all and we went to bed early so today's a new day tomorrow I have off and I'm so excited to do some like normal things and get my life together 
together, but I'll see you guys when I'm home from work. We are absolutely being dumped on. It is pouring rain! Alrighty, my friends, we are home. We've been home for quite a bit. It's actually almost 8 o'clock. I just like have felt, I'm gonna turn you guys a little bit, like I've been dreaming for the past two days. So today I worked until, what time did I clock out at? Like 4.50 or something? So way past when I was supposed to work, again, just because of this computer software stuff. But honestly today, like I kind of, it kind of hit me how much I love this job because if it were like any other place, I feel like I would have been so pissed off today with the circumstances. But I honestly like wasn't that upset and I was just kind of enjoying it. I definitely am getting the hang of things. I felt a lot better today in terms of like the workflow. So that made me feel really good. And then I just feel like everybody that I work with is so great. And that's like, I hope to find that one day. Like when I'm a PA, if I'm gonna be a PA, we're gonna speak it into existence. But I just like feel like it makes the biggest difference because my last job was literally like polar opposite. Um, last job, I had was like actually horrible and it's just like I didn't know you could like actually like working and like the people you work with so yeah so I'm honestly feeling pretty good it's just like this the work is just draining everything that I have <laughs> so that's why you guys really haven't seen much at all because um, I came home I literally laid on my couch because it was storming too it was such a vibe so I took a little snooze watched some YouTube I had a breakfast like a Jimmy Dean's breakfast sandwich for dinner and yeah I'm just chilling but yeah so that's what's up but I'm excited for tomorrow because it's my day off so we're gonna get to do more things and I'm excited to take you guys along with that and kind of show you what that looks like for me but for now we're just chilling tonight nothing's going down A story for you okay this is just like crazy to me I have my backpack on like a little school girl because I'm about to head out again so you guys saw me I was doing my workout right I had you guys on my big tripod like halfway through the workout I like was moving my tripod and the screen on my camera just like wonk fell off but it didn't fall off because there's other things that were like holding on to it but basically two important screws were loose they were gone. They were nowhere to be found. So I was kind of panicking because I got this camera as a gift like a year and a half ago, I think for Christmas. And I do not have the funds for a new camera. So I went to Best Buy to the little geek squad and I was like, listen, guys, we need to fix this. Like there is just not an option. I can't buy a new one. They were like, well, I don't think we like do these kind of repairs here. And then another girl came by to like look at if my brother, when he had got this camera for me, if he got coverage for it. And it turns out he did, which I need to give him a hug because that coverage is like, I think two years coverage or something. It made it so that I could get a brand new camera today for $60. And that $60 was just for me to buy new coverage for this camera that I have now. So I was in such disbelief. I was like, you are telling me I can get a new camera, a brand new camera right now for $60? Like it was not making any sense to me and I still like can't believe it. I called my mom and I was like, is this like a thing? Like I'm winning here because I have a brand new camera now and I also need to go through and get all the settings right. So sorry if it looks a little bit weird, but that was a process <laughs> and now it's like two o'clock and I'm just gonna continue on my things that I've been wanting to get done. So firstly, we're going to go and sign up for a gym membership. And then after that, I'm gonna go towards my parents' house and I'm gonna have dinner with them and that kind of thing. So yeah, let me show you guys the OOTD. I literally can't believe I have a new camera. Also, for this camera, I put the little strap on so if you guys fall, you don't break. And I wanna be like so careful with this one. Okay, OOTD. I talked about these jeans recently. They are wide leg jeans from Garage. I can link them down below again because they are literally gonna be my favorite jeans for the rest of my life. And then I just have this cute little crop from Aritzia on, some jewelry, I put my makeup on earlier, and we're gonna head out, sign up for a gym membership. All right, I'm at my parents' house, we made it. I just put these shorts on because 
I got new stuff. Can't show you guys my address, but I got new stuff from Shein and Abercrombie that I'll show you guys later when I get home. Guys, this is kind of funny because <laughs> I don't think I've ever cried on here because I don't like to do that, but story time. I was driving home from my parents and I was at a red light. The light turned green. People hadn't started moving yet, but the guy behind me decided to accelerate, so I got rear-ended. Probably like the tiniest little like jolt you know because he wasn't going that fast so whatever we pulled over to the side of the road and then we got out i don't know what the heck to do when it comes to accidents so i called my dad and i was explaining there was like probably no damage to my car the license plate just looked a little funky but i don't think he hit me there <laughs> whatever i like blacked out because it like shook me so much and then I FaceTimed my parents to show them my car because my dad knows cars and he knows what should be there, what shouldn't. And then of course my mom is like looking at my face and she's like, are you okay, sweetie? So then I just started sobbing and this poor guy, I felt bad for him. He was really nice, the guy that hit me, I felt bad for him, lol. I didn't feel bad for him, but he was probably like 30 something, maybe has kids and I think he felt really bad because then I just started crying and I was just like, I know, I was like shaking and again nothing happened I feel fine nothing my head is fine my neck is fine my car has no damage I just started crying because my mom had to ask me if I was okay and then I I think I kept crying because I felt really awkward because we were on a busy road and this man is right here just looking at me talking to my parents and I was just like this is so awkward and then I'm still crying and it's like 15 minutes have passed but yeah has anyone else like experience that where like nothing actually happened but it just like shook you up yeah it just scared me and of course I'm by myself and like people are driving by as I'm crying probably thinking I'm injured <laughs> and they were like rolling down their windows asking if I'm okay and I'm like I'm fine and I said to him I was like I'm so sorry like I don't want you to be worried like I'm not hurt I'm just dramatic and he was really nice but yeah so that happened. That wasn't a great way to end my day. But yeah, I got packages at my parents' house that I'm going to show you guys eventually. I don't think it'll be tonight because I'm kind of shook right now. <sighs> but I think it's going to be maybe tomorrow. I'll show you guys what I got. Most of it's from Shein. So yeah. Oh my god. I need to go lay down. I'm so dramatic <laughs> good morning guys happy thursday we go back to work today and honestly i'm not dreading it i'm kind of excited today i don't i'm not like paired with a doctor so i'm just an extra today i kind of like that sometimes because it's less pressure to like be on your best behavior because like you don't have a doctor to please yeah i'm interested to see like how or what i'll be doing today i guess but yeah i woke up around seven it's a beautiful sunny day i feel like i look tired but it's because I'm like congested I recovered from my trauma of being rear-ended yesterday yeah that was just quite yesterday was quite a day the camera broke that happened I just feel like it was like back and forth of like happy feelings and like sad feelings <laughs> but yeah today uh, I think I'll work till 4 and then I'm gonna come home ideally work out and I kind of want to do like a vacuum around my house because I feel like it needs it. But hopefully I get to that and like don't feel super lazy. But we shall see. So I'll see you guys once I'm home for the day. All right. Hi guys. We are home from work. I think it's like 5 o'clock-ish. I got home around 4, 10. Had a snack. Watched some YouTube videos. And I just actually vacuumed. So I did end up vacuuming. Just because, do you guys know when it's like so annoying when you're in the kitchen and you like step on food? That's what I was experiencing. I was getting pissed off so I vacuumed and I just threw on my little workout outfit but I wanted to show you guys the clothes I was telling you guys about yesterday most of it's from Shein I'm gonna go like really fast I did try them on yesterday and took clips of them I'm just gonna do like a quick overview because it's Shein everybody knows their clothes are like usually hit can be sometimes miss luckily these were all hits though so I do want to start though with a pair of let me scoot you back okay with a pair of jeans I got from um, uh, Abercrombie just because these are actually so cute. I feel like white jeans are like really in this summer 
So I got these, which are the Curve Love Mom High Rise Jeans. Got them in my usual 28. I honestly feel like I maybe even could have done a size lower than this, but they still fit really well. Really cute. They have some rips in them. They're like my favorite style where it's like not super tight, but like not super loose. And I just feel like they're really cute. So, and they were on sale when I got them for like 50 something dollars. So I was here for that. Up next, Shein. Firstly, I got this little hoodie. So cute. I need more zip up hoodies. And I think I got this like in a large or something. So it's like super massive and oversized and just good for like throwing it on in the house and that kind of thing. Okay, so then I got this set of three sweat shorts. They're like a comfy um, material. Um, I'm pretty sure these are very see-through. I was expecting that though, but they also came with a gray and a black. I wore the black yesterday. I got them a size medium. I wouldn't say they're the most flattering things ever, but like just good for lounging around the house, that kind of thing. And then let's do my bikinis. This bikini, wow, I was shook. This made me feel like a bad bee. So it's just like a really cute style not as cheeky as some of their styles I will say um, I was kind of pleased with that because this is a suit I could wear to family functions and yeah it's a cute little purple color and I just absolutely loved the style of the top so it's like a triangle um, like halter moment so really cute and then this bikini is literally adorable however I don't love the bottoms I find that they like squeeze my butt like they're just not flattering for my body type <laughs> but this top I'm actually obsessed with and if you guys like can see I think it's like lemons or something on the design so I'm obsessed with this top and with how cheap their bikinis are it's like I'll take it at least one of the two looks good um okay and then I just got this this needs to be ironed but it's like a little short sleeve polo moment and I love the purple I really think these are so cute to wear like over like little small bralettes or something um and like leave it opened when it's like really hot outside and this is like the most airy breathable material very excited about that and then this was literally so random but I actually love it it's a cropped graphic tee this from like PacSun or something would have been a lot more expensive from Urban so good for like staples and then another staple like I was just saying with that purple wearing it over bralettes this is just a really cute like squared cropped shirt or tank I guess I should say I really love these for summertime again wearing like long sleeve button-ups or like something just over top with like shorts and sneakers their moment and then lastly I this is like more for fall but these are good for around the house they're yoga pants and they're flared at the bottom and I just think they're really flattering I got this in the size medium definitely could have done a small but whatever just really comfy they're definitely like cheaply made but like it's fine you know and that's what I got so in a few minutes, I'm going to start doing my workout for the day. I'll film it for you guys, but yeah, work went well. I was not with the doctor today, so it was pretty chill. But yeah, I'll check in with you guys before my workout. Hold me close till I get up. Time is barely on our side. Storms we chase are leading us, and love is all we'll ever trust. Yeah, no, I don't want to waste what's left. After my workout, I went for a walk just because today, like at work, I was just sitting the whole time, I wasn't getting my usual steps in, and I just felt like my body needed to move even more than my workout. But my workout was really good. I did a 10 minute cardio warm up and then 30 minute strength. Steven's calling me. Hello. I showered. Just took a bite of my quesadilla, but this is dinner. This is leftovers from when my mom cooked last night. I'm gonna watch a YouTube video. Um, yeah, I'm really excited to eat this though. I'm like so hungry. Good morning, guys. Happy Friday. I am so happy. It is Friday. <laughs> I'm just ready for the weekend. I'm um, ready to sleep in a little bit. I woke up around 6 30 i have to be at work at 7 30 so i'm literally going to leave like now because it's like 7 15. i think i'm maybe training somebody today i'm not really sure but today i work with a doctor for half the day and then the other half of the day i'm not really sure what i'm doing but i'll figure it out um so yeah i'm hoping it's a pretty smooth and chill day that's the goal but yeah i'll talk to you guys when i get home i'm home 
I changed into my bathing suit because I got home like at 3 and the UV index is 8 and I'm gonna tan until like 4 because I don't have to work out today and I it's just such a nice day outside so I'm gonna tan a little bit and then probably come inside have a snack that kind of thing but and I'll tell you about work also once I come back inside, but I need to absorb these sun rays right now. Tanning literally lasted like 15 minutes because a lawn crew showed up for the house and that includes men and I wasn't gonna sit out on my patio in my bathing suit. So I literally hustled inside, took a shower and I've just been packing because tomorrow's my dad's birthday and I decided I'd spend the night at my parents' house so that I can like wake up do birthday breakfast with him, and then him and I are gonna play tennis, so I'm really excited. So I was just kind of packing that stuff up, cleaning my room up, and I'm gonna start editing this video. So I'm gonna end this video here. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. I love filming week work week in my life because I feel like you guys just get everything, and I don't know, I just enjoy them. And be sure you guys subscribe to see the ones to come and other fun videos. And always, if you guys have like video ideas, comment them down below. I haven't been able to get very creative because I've been so busy, but hopefully once like PA school applications slow down, that kind of thing, we'll be able to do some more fun types of videos. But yeah, hopefully I will see you guys in my next one.